Guys, welcome to Cappadocia in Turkey. It's in sort of mid east, east Turkey, and uh, this place is incredible. It's just full of these things called fairy chimneys, just all sorts of rock formations and cave dwellings and cave houses. It's not the darkest place in the world. I mean, Wales is probably darker, but the landscape is just completely out of this world. So I've just found this interesting rock formation on the side of the road. I'm going to try and shoot here. There seems to be quite a lot of light pollution around, but we'll see what we can uh, see what we can get. shooting with the a7 III if I haven't dropped my review of this yet I should be dropping it very soon but I'm so impressed with this camera and I've got the Samyang 24mm f1.4 just gonna grab focus and I'm shooting at f2.8 ISO 6400 I'm gonna go with 10 seconds I'm just gonna turn my torch off Woo, I'm excited. <laughs> Woo, okay, it's nice, but yeah, the light pollution's really, really blowing out of the horizon. There's still a nice amount of stars there. I mean, when you've got a landscape like this, it just kind of makes up for it, really. But I've got one little trick up my sleeve. I've brought with me the Case Neutral Night Filter. It's a light pollution filter, so it basically filters out <laughs> it basically filters out yellow pretty much like the yellow spectrum of light because the light pollution here is the old sort of sodium mercury vapor bulbs and when you filter out the yellow light it should cut through the light pollution we should get a lot more contrast in the sky hopefully see some more stars there's only one way to find out so I'm just gonna stick the holder on Uh, I don't know how well you can see this. This is the filter. It's a 100 by 100 mil filter. It's got a really pink tint to it. It's made of something called didium glass, which first came into fruition for glass workers. So when they're sort of melting the glass and heating the glass to kind of shape the glass, the sodium inside the glass produces this bright orange like glare and the glass workers can't see the glass they're working on so they put this glass in the goggles they can see through the sodium glare and uh, see the glass that they were working on and because the old style of street lights is based on the idea of exciting sodium to produce a yellow light this filter should technically cut straight through it we should see a lot more a lot more contrast in the sky a lot more stars and we won't get that glare of light pollution at least that's the theory but there's only one way to find out. Whoa! Let's just double check the other image. The difference... The difference is pretty big. Completely cuts down on that glare. You can definitely see a lot more stars on the horizon and it's just not blown out. That's super impressive. I haven't been that impressed with these light pollution filters back in Wales because a lot of places are now switching to LED and because the LED lights are white you can't filter out white light because you need to collect pretty much everything apart from yellow light. I have been impressed with them back in Wales when shooting kind of like 50 mil and upwards especially doing telephoto stuff on a star tracker you really get a lot more detail out of um, hydrogen alpha emission nebulas like those found in Orion. But this, this is something else, like, the difference is really huge. It adds a bit of a pink tint to the image, especially where the light pollution was. But that should be easily removed in post. It might just be a simple case of shifting the white balance. And 
this composition is quite nice, but I don't know, I feel like it's kind of missing something. There's a bit, I don't know, there's not much going on there, so I think I'm just gonna, just gonna grab a selfie. Why not? Get a little, uh, little selfie, the first photo of the trip. Yeah, let's do it. Gonna do my best, do same bolt impression. You ready? Three, two, one, go! And there we are, first shot in the back. It's a nice simple shot, and it was like right next to the road. That doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm not going to stick around much longer. You know, the sky is beautifully clear because I need to go to the airport and pick up an old friend of mine, Udrash. He's going to join me for the week. But I'm going to have a quick little wander, see if I can find anything in the dark. If I do find anything, probably about to like show you guys some b-roll with some music <sighs> if I don't find anything interesting I'm just gonna cut straight to the airport so what's it gonna be <laughs> some kind of mammal. I've never heard anything like it in my life. If anybody has any idea what that sound is. You hear that? Please let me know. They seem to be like, there's one here and there's one like miles down that way. They seem to be communicating somehow. What is that? Somebody let me know, please. Yeah. Let's go pick up Urash. Three hours later. Picked up Urash from the airport. Feel free to say hello to the vlog. <laughs> Urash, by the way, we met in 2010, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 2010, yeah. In a place called Kelebek Nevadisi, or Butterfly Valley. And then we were housemates for like two years. Two years. And this is his first time in Cappadocia. I'm still quite shocked, to be honest. Can you Seeing even see anything? this marvel at night time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be like tomorrow daytime. <laughs> I'm already shocked. This is just unbelievable, surreal. <laughs> he doesn't know yet, but I've only invited him here so he can be my cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Just about see the Milky Way, the core, because it's gone high up as well, it's sort of coming out of the light pollution. But hopefully the filter is gonna help us get some more detail out of it. You can definitely see a lot more of the Milky Way is completely cut down. The glare of the light pollution has removed all that yellow colour. And there's way more detail in the Milky Way, but there's definitely some kind of thin cloud rolling in, which is ruining it a little bit. But that's still a pretty nice image. Back to 
see if we can get a better shot because I really like this composition with the two fairy chimneys and the Milky Way in the middle and now we've got some clear skies so I'm just using the case neutral night light pollution filter because as you can see we're very close to the town so I just want to cut down the glare of the yellow lights hopefully we can get a better view of the Milky Way smashing up a bit of a panorama here but we're getting these fairy chimneys the Milky Way we're squeezing the town in as well but I want to include the town because I want to try and tell a story of the whole landscape that you know you can literally come on a five minute walk from the light polluted town come see the amazing fairy chimneys but you can still see the Milky Way I'm just gonna do a big panorama try and squeeze it all in and just try and tell a story of this little landscape That is a wrap for night one. Big shame about that, like really high thin cloud. That is really annoying. Could have been so much better, but it is only the first night. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to catch the rest of the adventure. And hopefully we can find some clearer skies and some darker skies and get a bit more Milky Way action. Urash. Hey. How would you describe this place in one word? That's to put you on the spot. Unreal. Unreal. Chuck is over here. What the chuck you gonna show me? Yeah. What the news is that? We rushed out of the east, huh? What kind of news Turkish you gonna show me? Do. Senin o kadar güzel Türkçe konuşman tamamen kendi yeteneğin. Ben Voli'yi tanıdığımda 5 hafta içerisinde Türkçe'yi bitirmişti. <gülüyor> Hayır, altı hafta. Ben ince dokunuşlar. Ve bazı deyimlerde yardımcı olabilirim. Hiç unutmadığım bir hikaye var. Bunu söylemek istiyorum. Beşinci hafta Türkçe öğrenirken pinpon maçında öne geçti 7-0. Hezimet moruk dedi. <gülüyor> Orada herkes raketleri bıraktı zaten. Pinpon bitti. Bunu nasıl çevireceğim ya altyazıda? <gülüyor> Neyse. And his English is better than mine. Ah. Not exactly. Not exactly. Well, thank you. Anyway. Catch you in the next one guys. You're gonna have to enjoy the night sky anytime soon. I wish you good luck in clear skies. Yeah, there's gonna be more yeah. bilingual <laughs> vlogs. <laughs>